When we meditate, we're looking for a pleasure that doesn't have anything to do with sensuality, something that's secluded from sensuality. That kind of pleasure is a pleasure that has the possibility of lasting for a long time and of being totally harmless. It requires very few of the world's resources. Nobody killed, nobody stole, nobody broke any of the precepts or the, the pleasure that is released from sensuality. So as we train our minds in this direction, it's good for us and it's good for the people around us. Otherwise, if you're looking for sensual pleasures, as the Buddha said, even if it rained gold coins, it wouldn't be enough for one person's desires for sensuality. Multiply that by, what, four billion, the number of people we have on Earth? That would be a lot of gold coins. But this pleasure doesn't cost anything at all. It doesn't use much of the Earth's resources, just enough to keep the body going. This is one of the reasons why we practice restraint of the senses, because you're out looking for sensual pleasures, the energy of the mind leaks out the senses, never gets a chance to develop. But if we keep it gathered in here, keep our attention gathered in here, our hopes for happiness gathered in here, then this energy has a chance to grow. As the Buddha said, it can give rise. Simply being secluded from sensuality can give rise to a sense of ease, well-being, even a sense of rapture, as you're getting the mind to settle down. So there's a lot of goodness to be found here, even though this is just part of the path, it's not the goal. It's your food along the path. It's your entertainment along the path. All the things that we need to give the mind a sense that it doesn't have to wait until it reaches nirvana before it's going to see the results of this practice. The results are right here, if you pay attention right here. If most of your attention goes leaking out, then the mind gets depleted, as I said, and then it gets cluttered by the stuff you bring in. So focus your attention here. And your desire for happiness at last, and a desire for happiness that doesn't cause any trouble, that doesn't have to get into any conflict with anyone, that desire can be realized. The more single-minded you are about this, the better it's going to be the faster the results are going to come.